Hello, the internet. Um, <laughs> so last night, um, I was on The Voice and Ollie Murs turned round and I'm on Team Ollie now. And that's a thing. And it really did happen. And I didn't just stream it. It's been a weird uh, evening and morning and early afternoon. So I wanted to do a bit of a vlog to try and just maybe answer some questions, um, give a few sort of thank yous and shout outs that I, I didn't last night because everything was so crazy. Um, and just sort of, uh, what are my thoughts right now? What am I feeling? And all the rest of that sort of, the stuff that people, you know, um, hopefully want to hear and like to hear. So the first thing that I absolutely want to talk about is um, the people that I didn't really message or talk about last night, um, which is the people behind the scenes. Um, I really, really can't overstate just how lovely and brilliant everyone has been behind the scenes of The Voice and how much I appreciate and really just want to thank them for everything that they've done, you know, sort of all of the the production staff, the people who work in the outfits and the wardrobe department helping, um, obviously sort of the shirt that I was wearing, you know, was my band shirt, but they went over sort of different outfit choices for me and, and things like that. Um, the, the, you know, sort of like the people who sort of are having to run around after everyone and make sure that we're all in the right place at the right time and organising water bottles and snacks and all of that sort of stuff. It's, it's it's so appreciated and everyone backstage has been so nice which is one of those things that you hear about you know sort of like oh people on these shows they're always just treated like sort of something disposable you know sort of get them out there for the public to look at and and laugh at and or cheer at blah 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 and then back home because no one cares about you and that that has not been my experience they it feels like they care so so yeah massive thank you and massive shout out to the guys who you'll never hear about and you'll never see the guys behind the scenes. Um, thank you. So the next one is sort of another behind the scenes shout out, but also on the on the stage shout out. Um, thanks to the band because that <laughs> was not an easy song for them, um, and it was very very different from everything else that they've been playing so far. So. Sorry about that, and thank you for playing it really well. Um, you, you made me sound better than I have any right to sound. <laughs> so really, just sort of like the, the, the bulk of this vlog, I just want to just talk about sort of my, my reactions and my responses and what it's been like. So my notifications on my phone and my Facebook, they started going mad before The Voice even aired because people realised from the adverts at the end of Take Me Out that I had to be on the next episode of The Voice. So I've been getting messages since sort of 5 to 8, and it didn't even slow down until about midnight. And then I wake up this morning and there's more messages, there's more there's more tweets, there's more notifications, there's just there's more of everything. People have found my Instagram now, you know, it's, it's all gone mad. Um, so... I tried so hard to respond to people last night, to put out tweets, to, to reply to what people were saying, to, to let people know that I, I was listening and I was paying attention and I was hearing what people were saying and, and that it was so appreciated to hear that. But obviously, you know, my, my Twitter account went from three followers to 293 is the last time I checked it. I can't keep up with that. So I will still try my hardest to reply to people, to respond to comments, to respond to tweets, Please, please understand that there's, there's a lot of notifications now. I, I literally can't get to the end of them. By the time I've finished checking over one set of notifications, literally another, like, 40 have popped in. It's mad. Hopefully it'll calm down a bit more. Maybe it won't. I don't know. This next little bit is for anyone who was following my videos um, before all this happened. I just want to reassure people, I'm still going to be doing... All that stuff. I'm still going to be reading Skullduggery Pleasant. Obviously there might be a little bit more of a focus on music. I've got some videos that I need to put up because obviously people are now going to be coming to my channel to sort of see the music things. So I am going to have to have a bit of a shift in focus, but you know, the Skullduggery Pleasant videos, the reading videos, the audio narration videos, they're still going to be here. Don't unsubscribe. Don't worry. I am doing that. Slowly. 
but I'm still doing it. Sort of to sum up, to wrap up, um, the last thing I want to talk about is just what it's been like, what it's felt like, and it's been it's been nothing but a positive experience, so that's the first thing. Um, I might do another video later to talk about, you know, would I recommend people do it? Would I, you know, what would my thoughts for someone thinking of doing it be? Um, in general, yes, I would recommend it. Very positive experience, very fun. There's just a few caveats, not about the show, but about the experience as a human on the show that you might want to think about if you're considering it. But I've had an absolutely amazing experience so far, and I'm hoping it's going to be an absolutely amazing experience going forwards. <laughs> um, Ollie Murs, because I've, I've met him now. <laughs> um, Ollie Murs is just a laugh. He is a right... I almost said a right lad, and that's not how I talk, but he is. That's how to describe him. He's just... He's just such a, a guy. He's, he's, he is, people are going, this is such a cliche thing to say. He's such an ordinary person. No, he is like, and that's the thing about him. And I'm sure everyone who, you know, who's followed him on Twitter and stuff knows that, that he is like that, but he is, and he's genuine. He's a very genuine person, I think. So I'm so happy to be on his team. I'm so happy to have met all the other people on his team that I've met fantastic collection of musicians, fantastic collection of musicians just on The Voice. So I hope people keep watching. I hope people enjoyed what I did. Oh, that was the other, that was the last thing I wanted to talk about. I was so scared. I was really worried that I was going to be the joke. I was going to be the novelty. Um, you know, I was, I was envisaging the headlines already, which a couple of those headlines have come true. I won't name any particular names. But what's been amazing to me is the amount of people the vast, vast majority of people who have responded positively, who, you know, have seen those headlines about, ooh, what's Ollie doing turning for a joke act, and have gone, I didn't think he was a joke at all. I thought he was, you know, I thought he sang well. I really liked the song. I really thought it was a good choice. You know, people have responded so positively, and that that's the message I want to leave on. They're going to think you're unprofessional if you keep doing this, Chris. So that's the message that I really want to leave on, and that I just want to say thank you. It's the positivity, the the good feeling, the the support is indescribable. To have people watch you on television, and it was a risky choice, I, I will really admit that, and to have people then come on Twitter and just say, I loved it, it gave me a warm feeling, I was up and dancing, I was singing along, that's why I do what I do. That's the whole point, is for that, for that response, and and that's all I can. That's all I can say. That's the last thing I can say. That's what I'll leave you with. Thank you for your amazing support, and I hope that I'll still see that support as I move through the competition. Right, that got sappy at the end. So I'll see you at the next one. Bye.